All right, so Lucy asks, hey, Drew, specifically asked for you, Drew. Um, Hello, Lucy. I, I got a question for the Pencast. From the Lamy fountain pen models, excluding the Lamy 2000, which one has the best ceiling cap? They're all fine. Um, <laughs> I, I, I've used, here's the thing, Lucy. Every time I ink up a Lamy, be it the 2000 or any other Lamy, I kind of like already have it predestined to be a workhorse pen. I gravitate toward them not because I'm like, ooh, you know what? I miss, I miss the feel of the All Star, or like, I mean, I want to use a Safari. That's such a fun experience. I mean, they're 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 fine, but they're just they're just reliable. I, you know, they're good for on the go, wide range of colors. If I ever want to match something to something, so um, whenever I use it, I use it I'm, because I know I'm going to be writing a lot with it. So they've all got a lot of use. It's been pretty rare that I've kind of casually been using one and left it alone for a while. So I can't say that I have a ton of expertise in using an, all of the Lamy pens and leaving them alone long enough to know what really is great and what really isn't. So I use a lot of Safaris, a lot of All-Stars, and obviously my 2000. But generally, they all do just fine over the weekend, but that's really however long I leave them. Uh, I spoke with a few others, and the consensus was around here that the studio might have a slight edge over the Safari and the All Star because it just caps so so tightly onto the uh, where the grip section meets the um, uh, barrel. But really, none of them have been super problematic. Eventually, they're not. They are going to dry out. They're not in the same realm as platinum or in your twisby or anything with you know a really nice inner cap or a spring-loaded inner inner cap so they're not quite in that realm but i've never had any that have been problematic uh personally um so i will say that one thing i do think it has going for it is the fact that there are not a lot of exposed fin feeds uh feed fins feed fins on the lamy pens you only have that small little front section um, poking out that has no fins on it. So other than that, all of the fins are located in the grip section itself. So there's not a lot exposed anyway to dry out. That doesn't mean it won't ever dry out, but it means there's less that um, would get potentially exposed to an air truder. Brian, I have a gold broad nib on this All-Star. How the heck did that happen? Hmm. What's the story behind that? I that's, a way to, that's a way to do it. I just pulled this at random. What the heck? Anyway. That's a um, special that's a special color too. <laughs> anyway, uh that's um oh this, this is the pink. Yeah, the vibrant pink all star. Yeah. Someone's oh, that's special. a vibrant pink. Okay. I, I think so, yeah. A... Yeah. Um <laughs> that did not anyway. come with a gold nib. I can tell you that. No, much. <laughs> no, it certainly does not. Um so yeah, that that's my uh that's my overall thought. Yeah. I, yeah, I think uh you know, I you interpreted the question the way that I did, which is like, how well does it seal the, the ink around the nib? Not like, how well does the cap seat on the pen? That was another way I like secondarily interpreted it. You know what I mean? Because, you know, there are some pens like, I think of like the Lamy Ion, right? Like it's it seals okay, but the cap feels like it's, you know, the cap like sits over top of the body and it feels like mm -hmm. it has a little more wiggle room than something mm -hmm. like a studio where it goes on and you're like, this thing is locked on, you know? Um, and I think like generally speaking, the, the All-Star and the Safari as well, because I think that's part of the reason they have that little ring center band thing on it is so that it, that sort of fills the void on the cap. I think yeah. that actually is part of what how that serves is so that it keeps the cap firmly in place. I'm not, I don't know that it's actually sealing the ink in there with that, but it's not, it doesn't hurt. I think, it's I, think just that, to help. I think that's where it actually. If you if if I place my finger over it, I think that's where it actually is sealing. Like well, I feel it, like, that I may feel, be. That may I be. I feel a pop right there in the middle. But if you look at the end, and I was looking for a Lamy. I actually don't have a Lamy pen right with me. I have like a hundred pens on me, but I don't have one of those. I think I have them all at my other desk. But um, if you look at the end of the grip mm -hmm. and how it kind of flares out a little bit, that's mm -hmm. where it actually clicks. So if you go, if you if you look inside the cap. That's actually what's holding the cap onto the pen is up there, oh. right up by the nib. And I think if you look inside the pen, you can see this a little more clearly on the Vista because it's clear. But I think there's actually like a cap insert, like it's sealing up around the nib right there. Yeah. 
That's and mainly the, uh, where it's sealing it. So like, this, yes, the grip of the pen is getting sealed a little bit with that little plastic like ring there, but I don't think that's what's actually doing most of the sealing. You're probably I think right, it's actually the, happening way up there at the nib. The studio has a similar little uh, lip yep. to it because yeah. if you if you look at the uh, the studio actually snaps to post as well and if you look at the back of the studio you'll see another very very small little flare out which matches the same flare at the end of the mm -hmm. grip section so that's where that cap is attaching yep so i would mm -hmm. be willing to bet lamy employs the same technology with this using Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised just given their manufacturing that mm -hmm. the diameter on this little flare is probably the same as the uh, one on the studio, or similar to it. What, you know, yeah. whether the whether those two are identical or not isn't really what matters. It matters does it doesn't mate up well with what's going on in the cap. But that but that's why they're there. Yeah, and if you think about it, like if you have a snap cap that has the you know essentially you have like a tension or pressure bar of some kind that's snapping over top of something else that's a slightly larger diameter than where it needs to seat. Well, if you have all that right at the, essentially the center band of the cap, like way down there, you essentially have to make your cap a little bit thicker to accommodate for that, you know? So it would, it would, it would be fatter, like there would be a bigger difference on the cap from the diameter of the body. But when you put it up there near the grip and you taper the grip, you can fit all that kind of mechanical stuff that is holding the ca snap cap onto there. You can fit all that kind of up there inside the cap. You don't really see it. You don't really have to think about it. And it allows you to have kind of a sleeker design where the cap meets the body. So I think that's why they do it that way, you know, but pretty clever on Lummi's part, honestly. Um, but uh, yeah. it, it, for that reason, I think a lot of them end up being actually pretty similar on from one pen to another. I will say, I think the Ion does not seal quite as well as these other pens. Um, yeah, I would not put the Ion up there. Um, and I've used the CP1 a lot as well. I wouldn't put that mm -hmm. one up there as much. Um, the, yeah, CP, like the, pure... the CP1 and the All-Star are probably the Lamy's I've used the most, if we're not counting the 2000. What about like the Pure, the Logo, all that? I would consider all those to be similar to the CP1. Yeah, I have. I don't have a lot of experience actually using those. I've never owned one, so I haven't used them a lot. I feel like to answer this question, I need to think about the ones that I've used a lot and have like accidentally left for a few days. On the, you know, I've tried them all. Okay. But the ones I've actually used a lot, you know, are the ones I've yeah. talked about. I think it's like, it's like pretty much the workhorse Lamy pens that you get talked about more. The more obscure ones, they go more for an element of kind of design aesthetics. Mm -hmm. Think about like the Dialogue 3, right? Right. That's not built that, for sealing. That's a whole different setup. It's cool. Very cool. But that one probably seals less ideally than all of them because there's just so much going on in there. Yeah. But uh, in the Emporium as well, that's another one that not a lot of people talk about, think about. That one's got a oh, yeah. that one's got a threaded cap, which is the only Lamy I can think with a threaded cap. Yeah, I always forget about the that, Emporium. And that one seals really well. Um, I have not used it a ton, but it, from my memory, it, it seals For a second, well. I thought you said it sells really well. I was like, no, no Brian. It no, it <laughs> Seals. Seals okay. really well. That that's makes more about. sense. Yeah, but I mean, if you're going to buy that pen, you're not going to buy it because of the way the cap seals. You're going to buy no. it because you like a weird looking grip. 